with 90% of the vanadium consumption globally at the moment really being taken up by steel, the steel sector. Um, vanadium flow battery is still really an emerging market but really starting to gain some traction now, particularly with some key drivers from uh, China um, pushing out some rather large batteries. But the interesting thing in terms of vanadium and the use of vanadium in batteries and it becoming a primary mover of the vanadium, both price and consumption, is that the use of vanadium batteries is intrinsically linked to the cost of the vanadium. So as we see the vanadium costs go up, vanadium batteries are going to have a harder time competing and becoming economical to the point where they're more widely used and adopted. So it's really going to take companies, um, as Multicom are attempting to do, to become vertically integrated and find an appropriate way to get a cheap sustainable supply of vanadium into a battery manufacturing distribution business to, for them to really take hold. So until that can really happen, we won't see the market become dependent um, or driven by the battery market, but there's certainly a lot of opportunity there for that to happen and Multicom with some of its partners are working towards doing that. Yeah, Multicoms look quite um, closely at the development of a battery manufacturing facility within Queensland, actually within Townsville. And the conversations have been had with government um, and local council around the establishment of that type of facility and bringing manufacturing back into the state um, has been re really well received. So there is a genuine opportunity to vertically integrate a vanadium mining company with a battery manufacturing company and bring that into the state, produce them locally, and then open that up to wider distribution.